Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. So today's video is a very highly requested video. I'm going to be doing my five minute work makeup routine, which is my powder foundation routine. I've stated in previous videos that I actually really only use powder foundation for my everyday work makeup, and I've gotten a lot of questions about that. So I'm finally gonna do that for this video. I'm very excited to be filming this work video because I have just accepted my first full-time position as a physical education teacher or a PE teacher. I graduated college in January, so I spent from January to May substituting. I got a long-term subbing position, and now I'm starting my full-time position in the fall. I'm very, very excited. So since I am a physical education teacher, I don't need to be wearing a whole lot of makeup. I'm actually quite physically active, so that's why I like to use powder foundation. There's no need for me to be super glammed up. So if you want to see how I do it, then just keep watching. takes me like five minutes to do in the morning. Obviously it's gonna take me a lot longer in this video because I want to explain everything to you guys. So the first thing that I do is I like to use the Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Primer. I really like this for powder foundation because it leaves your skin feeling quite sticky and I feel like the powder sticks to it better. It's also a very moisturizing kind of grippy primer which I really like. That's normally not the case with sticky primers like these but it's not only moisturizing on my dry skin but also it's a really great base for powder foundation to stick on it. So I do like to give it some time to sink into the skin a little bit more so it's not quite as sticky. So that is when I move on to the eyebrows. Filling in eyebrows takes forever. So I actually use the Milk Makeup Kush Fiber Brow Gel in the shade Dutch. This just kind of takes the hard work out of it and the time. Uh, this doesn't really shape my brows, so that's something I'm responsible for keeping up with. But it does add a little bit of darkness to my brows and just a touch of definition. So I do use colored brow gels when it comes to my eyebrows for work. Sometimes it takes longer if my eyebrows are just not looking good, but right now they're not in too bad of shape, so it's really just a quick brush through. So as you can see, I'm not really filling in my brows, but this just shapes it nicely and adds a little bit more color in the sparse areas. I normally don't use concealer unless I have a little bit of extra time in the morning. So I'm just using the Giorgio Armani Power Fabric Concealer. I really like this one because it's very malleable to the skin, and I don't even use a brush. As you can see, I just apply very little on my under eyes. And like I said, this is really only on special occasions, and I guess this video is a special occasion, so I'm just gonna talk about it and show you. Just like that to brighten the eyes, and I spot conceal sometimes as well, but I wanna show you how the powder foundation covers it. So now it's finally time to move on to powder foundation. Now, I really like It Cosmetics Airbrush Perfecting Powder. I do think they recently either reformulated or repackaged, I'm not sure. But either way, I trust all of It's powder foundation. I've used a couple that I really like, but I always come back to this one. In fact, this is a fresh new one I opened up specifically for this video because the one I've been using is disgusting and used and there's only a tiny bit left that I still try and make work so I opened a fresh one for you guys. I've also heard the Makeup Forever, their new powder foundation is really good. I really want to try that. If you want something a lot more full coverage, I would recommend the MAC but that's a little bit too much for me. I like the IT because it gives good coverage. It's very light on the skin and I like the way it wears. I use the Sigma F80 because it is a flat top kabuki. I prefer to use flat top brushes because because I really do kind of like to layer on the powder. So I'm gonna show you. We're gonna start off right in the areas that I have horrible acne scarring. I don't wanna talk about it. And as you can see, it doesn't completely cover it, but it does a really great job of concealing it. And the goal of powder foundation for me, it's not to have flawless skin. If I wanted flawless skin, I would use my liquid foundations but it's just to even out my complexion and to make me just look a little bit brighter and put together during the day. And this, by the way, is in the shade medium, in case you were wondering. So this particular powder foundation, it's not full, full coverage, but it definitely has more coverage than a lot of other powder foundations that I've tried. And the ingredients are good for the skin too, because I mean, it's It Cosmetics. And I really like the ingredients that It Cosmetics has in their products, so I just feel better about using this. 
you don't feel the foundation um, it wears really well throughout the day don't I it just look better <laughs> now I normally don't do bronzer or anything like that but I do like to apply a glowy blush I like to make sure it's glowy because that's the only thing I'm putting on my face I don't have time for blush and highlighter so having that glowy blush is gonna kind of do both I'm using the Milani Berry more and I switch this out I'll just kind of grab for whatever blush I'm feeling but Milani does have a really nice glowy blush formula that I like and by the way I'm using the flower beauty blush brush which is also very nice and this just adds a little bit of color and glow at the same time to your face so you don't look as dead okay next up is mascara I got asked a question about this I don't curl my eyelashes I don't do that because my eyelashes are literally stick straight and the only way I can get my lashes to curl is if I use a waterproof mascara that's the only way they will stay and I don't like using waterproof mascaras because they pull my eyelashes out when I try to clean them up so honestly I don't even bother curling my lashes. Nothing works, so I don't even waste my time. Today I'm using the Flower Beauty Warrior Princess Mascara. I'll use whatever mascara. I'm not too picky on mascaras. And I do two layers. I like a lot of mascara. While that first coat is drying, I like to go to the lips. Uh, for lips, I just like to do a simple gloss. Today I'm going to be using the Fenty Beauty Lip Gloss in Fussy just because I love the shine that this has and the juiciness it gives my lips. And now I'm going to work on that second coat of mascara. And here you go. This is my super easy five minute work makeup routine. I hope you guys like it. As you can see, it's very, very natural. Probably not something you'd expect from me based on like what I do here on YouTube. But Monday through Friday, nine to five, this is what I'm wearing. I've literally had the same routine for the past year. I can't believe I've never done a video on it. But anyways, if you guys have any questions, don't be afraid to ask them down below. I will be happy to answer them. Make sure you subscribe to this channel, give this video a thumbs up, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys, have a good one.